Hi everyone, welcome to the Santa Rosa and Escobilla County Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us. We are really excited you are here. Before we get started, we do have a few housekeeping items uh, to go over. Um, but first, my name is Catherine and I'll be your facilitator for this session. Your camera and microphone are off, you are muted and your video is off. The panelists can't see or hear you. Feel free to use the Q&A button to type in your questions to the presenters at any time. They are here, ready and available to answer your questions. And lastly, this session is being recorded. All of the sessions are being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com backslash Santa Rosa dash Escobilla. We are currently in session a2, where my mouse is circling at the moment. And this is also the same order of presentations. So without further ado, I'll get out of the way and introduce our first representative from Florida Memorial University. Hi, good night, everyone. I am Clyde Lewis. I'm with Florida Memorial University. I'm going to share my screen so you can all see some ideas I've prepared for you. Um, so Florida Memorial University, we are in Miami Gardens, Florida, um, which is, you know, about 20 minutes from South Beach. I know you're probably all thinking, where in the world is Miami Gardens? Um, so we're about 15 to 20 minutes north of South Beach, where South Florida is only HBCU. Um, at our institution, we challenge students to own their excellence. Um, some of what we're, we're known for would be our business programs. Our, we have a biology and nursing program, education. We are actually attached to an international airport. Um, so at the international airport in Opelika, Florida, uh, we actually have a flight control tower um, and we have our very own aircraft. Um, we are very rich in history. Again, we've been around since 1879 and are still in existence today. Um, some of our notable alumni are, you know, Barrington Irving, who was the first black pilot to, to fly solo around the world. Sabrina Fulton, who is the mother of Trayvon Martin. Um, and then again, here's, here's a few more things about location. Again, we're, there's a lot to do in our area. Um, and you know, we're very excited that, that students can, can enjoy both academic and leisure while attending school with us. Um, things to do on campus, we do have 13 varsity sports. We have junior varsity sports. We have your traditional things like homecoming. Um, football is back for us after 60 years. Um, so that's, that's very exciting for our institution. Um, in addition to that, again, here's a list of, of our majors and our departments um, within which students can pursue different careers and majors. Um, as you can see, we have things in the sciences and humanities. Um, beyond that, our, our, our approach is to have you develop an intimate relationship with faculty, um, do what we call project-based learning, and, and we're very hands-on. Uh, and that's supported by a 16 to one student to faculty ratio. Uh, really quickly, as far as funding your education, some of our, our scholarships include the Presidential Honor Scholarship, which is full tuition, um, our Academic Achievement Scholarship, which is 12,000 per year. Um, our tuition in total is 12,576. If you live on campus, um, you're going to be paying about 24,000 per year. Um, so that also includes books and food. Um, as far as our requirements, we require a 2.4 weighted GPA. Uh, and we're test optional for the upcoming year. Um, so if you, if, you had not had an if you have not had an opportunity to test because of the pandemic, um, we will not hold that against you. We'll simply need a copy of your transcripts and your application. There's also no application fee. We are on the common application. We have an internal university application as well as we're on the common black app. Um, you know, I encourage you to, to apply by our deadlines. We have an early action deadline of November 1st, and then we have a regular decision deadline of August 1st. Um, if you'd like to apply or visit campus, um, you know, you can feel free to do, do so at either one of these QR codes. Um, just, you know, hopefully it's big enough for you to take a picture on your screen. Um, but again, we encourage you to apply as soon as possible. And more importantly, we would love to see you on campus. We are hosting campus visits in a much smaller capacity with, um, only three students per visit with, with their guests. Um, and with that, um, I'll wrap up. Great, thank you so much.
The next representative is from Loyola University. Good evening, everybody. My name is Ryan Costin. I am the Assistant Director of Undergraduate Admissions for Loyola University in New Orleans. Um, I am regionally based, so I'm actually based in Orlando, Florida. Um, so if you're living up in the Panhandle, you're actually a little bit closer to the campus than I am. Um, but hopefully you will be able to go and visit in the near future um, and see everything that we have on our campus. Um, so before I get started, I'll close my screen here. So as you can see, um, Loyola is a private liberal arts institution, um, a little over 100 years old, uh, 3,200 undergraduate students, so small in size and perfect for you to get involved, um, not only on campus, but in the beautiful city of New Orleans. Um, and with all the culture and events and things that we're going to have coming back to the city, um, it's really going to be a, a great time for you to be there um, and get involved with, with the new programs that you're looking for. As far as our incoming class, so this is our most recent incoming class. Um, we had uh, 973 incoming students, um, and you can see the, the overall breakdown and profile of our students. Um, more than half of our students are coming from out of state. Um, so if you are up in the Panhandle area, anywhere in the Southeast, um, definitely big areas where we're seeing a lot of students, a lot of interest for the programs, the familiarity and proximity to our city. And, um, and just again, a lot of things that you have in common. Again, you'll see a little bit more about where our students come from. So we are um, pretty diverse nationally. Students come from all over the country to New Orleans, um, but also students coming internationally. So if you are a student studying um, locally in the US um, and looking at coming, you're more than welcome to come as an international student. Now, where we're located, we're in Uptown New Orleans. So if you are or not familiar, I'll hit on it anyway. Um, but Loyola's historic neighborhood is um, just west of what you think of when you think of the French Quarter, Superdome, all the major attractions that you hear. Um, we're off of St. Charles Avenue, where you'll see the, the world famous streetcar that runs right in front of our campus, um, down the street from Audubon Park. Um, and again, about 20 minutes away from the Superdome. So if you're a Saints fan, um, definitely the right season for you. We have four seasons down in New Orleans, um, and it's Saints football season, Mardi Gras, Crawford season, and snowball season. Um, so we're right in the middle of the Saints football season, um, and Saints just won this weekend over in Jacksonville, maybe made the drive over. Um, but we hope to have everybody back in the city soon so you can celebrate the Saints um, and, and get to see more games. In our area, there's tons of things between the arts galleries and um, music festivals and events that happen throughout the year. Um, we have a lot of uh, communication students working with movie uh, sets and TV productions, some on our campus and some just locally in the city. So again, a great place to be um, in the city of New Orleans. As far as programs, we have a variety of programs. Um, so I'm going to go through these pretty quickly because we have a few different slides here. Um, but we have our College of Arts and Sciences, our College of Business, our College of Music. We also have our honors program um, and our Loyola core is really routed in the liberal arts to give you those soft skills you need that are translatable into your career. Um, so a little bit about the honors program. It is enrollment by invitation only. So once you apply, we will actually invite you um, to apply for the honors program. And in addition to the merit scholarship that you will receive, you will get an additional $5,000 scholarship to apply to your tuition. College of Arts and Sciences, you see our programs there on the left. Um, so anything from pre-nursing to cybersecurity and computer science um, and, and really anything in between. Um, we have a lot of different facilities, labs that our students are involved with. You see some of the things that our faculty are, that are involved with on the right hand side um, and they bring students right into these opportunities. So again, good opportunities for you within the College of Arts and Science. Um, our College of Business is an AACSB accredited program. Um, so that is a um, kind of prestigious uh, accreditation for, for business schools. Um, very few schools have it and it really just talks to the quality of instruction um, and the results you're gonna get from the program. Um, so again, if you're interested in going into business, um, you see some of the, the facilities and features that we have, whether it's working in the stock trading room, if you're an entrepreneur and really wanna kind of build up your own program um, and corporation, uh, then you have those resources there. Um, and then we have a variety of internships and opportunities for you as well. Our College of Music and Media, I'll refer to as the CMM. CMM. Um, there's three main focus areas, music and theater arts, music industry, communication and design. Music and theater arts has mostly what you would think of um, is, is classical, classically trained musicians. So if you are uh, in a band or want to do music producing, this is not the program for you, not this section, but we do have programs for you. Uh, but this is mostly classically trained musicians. Um, it is audition based, same thing with musical theater, um, acting, and theater arts. 
Music industry is where you want to go if you are um, what I was mentioning before. If you are a performer, you have your own music. Maybe you have it uploaded into SoundCloud or YouTube and you are a creative artist. Um, you can absolutely have a place at Loyola. So again, keep this in mind. And then the last focus is that communication design. So those students who want to be on the other side of things, um, journalism, strategic communications, multimedia journalism and communications. Um, you can go right into our design labs or studios um, and get hands-on experience right on our campus. So I recommend that you go to our website to see some of the details as far as um, auditions because there's a lot of little details in there um, and we don't have the time to go over it now, but you'll see on the left-hand side, um, where virtual auditions, portfolios, and things are required or recommended. So Gloria Hill is our program director for that. Reach out to her and she can help you out, but also have my contact at the end so we can go over that in more detail. You can finish in three years with us and you see the programs on the right-hand side, helps you finish a little bit earlier um, and also gets you access to things that um, you would do in a master's program. And then for admission, 3.5 G is the average GPA and we are test blind. So you can apply on the common application. November 15th is the first date. And then a little bit about scholarships. I'm going to skip ahead. You should see my contact. But if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And I am happy to answer those for you. Um, these slides will be recorded so you can go back and look at any of them. Have a great rest of your night. Thank you. Um, so much great information. We really appreciate it. Before we jump to our next representative, just a friendly reminder that if you have any questions at all, feel free to submit those using the Q&A button. Again, our representatives are here and available to answer any questions you have. And um, again, we are here. Um, our next representative is from the University of West Alabama. Hello everyone, I'll share my screen and we can get started. My name is Kirsten Cunningham and I'm with the best university in the history of ever, the University of West Alabama, where we really do believe that there's something about this place and we want you to find your something. A little bit of information about West Alabama. We were started in 1835 as a teacher's institution and throughout everything we do, we want to prepare you to do something that matters and make a difference in the world around you. Whether that's your studies or anything else, extracurricular involvement, we want you to be your best self here at the University of West Alabama. We have a 14 to 1 student teacher ratio with around 1,300 students here on campus. We have a beautiful 600 acre campus with a 54 acre lake, 16 competitive division two athletic sports and more than 90 majors and minors and concentrations. Things that matter to you that we offer here at UWA. We also are really proud that 95% of our students receive some form of financial assistance, whether that's through scholarships, grants or federal aid here. We make education affordable for you. Another thing with attending a school like West Alabama or any college, you want to make sure that your institution is safe. Every year we rank within the top three safest universities in the Southeast, and we provide a hands-on practical education taught by experts in your field. So you're not gonna walk into a classroom with 200 people there. You're gonna walk into a smaller class setting to where you can get your questions answered. You can develop those one-on-one -on -one relationships with your professors, because that's gonna be paramount when it comes time for graduation and you want great letters of recommendation. All of our degree plans fall into our four colleges and one division, where that's our College of Business and Technology, where you are the people that are shaping the world through technology, through um, business, through commerce. Then our College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, which is also home to our School of Health Sciences and Human Performance. Everything biology, chemistry, forensics, all those things and mathematics, like I have a math degree, our house and our College of Natural Sciences and Math. Then our School of health sciences and human performance. So it's gonna be things like athletic training, exercise science, kinesiology, everything there to show how the body moves and works together there. Then we have our College of Liberal Arts where we're gonna have everything from history to your social sciences to things like graphic design and our integrated marketing communications degree program, which has a 100% job placement rate. Then, as I mentioned earlier, we were started as a teaching institution, so education is at our core. We have a full college of education here, and we are one of two schools in the nation that have a public charter school that's pre-K through 12th grade here on campus. So those education majors, you're going to get experience in a classroom day one, which is going to get you hired. And we also have a fantastic school of nursing here on our campus. Nurses are at the forefront of everybody's mind here, and we have a great nursing program that boasts a 90% job place rate and a 100% pass rate on a nursing licensure exam called the NCLEX. 
also you learn a lot within those four walls of those classrooms but also when you go to college you're going to learn things that are going to be those transferable skills those are how to get involved you're going to learn how to deal with people but you're also going to make a great experience here on campus we have over 60 student organizations student government greek life and a lively intramural sports teams we also provide excellent resident hall amenities here we have a brand new freshman residence hall where you can live there with 450 of your closest friends and then six other residence halls. And there's even a restaurant downstairs in that first year residence hall as well. Speaking of that restaurant, we do have four dining locations here on campus because we wanna keep you fed. And moving right along into our admissions requirements. We start admission at a 17 on the ACT or 920 SAT. We do super score, but we also can receive admission off of your GPA, starting at a 2.5 GPA and unconditional admission is a 19 or 990 and above. Scholarships, because everyone loves free money. We offer both academic and leadership scholarships. Our academic scholarships start at a 21 on the ACT or our leadership scholarships start at 19 on the ACT or SAT equivalent and GPA equivalent. The best thing is any student that receives a scholarship to the University of West Alabama receives that in-state tuition rate. So I know you may be living out of state and wondering how I'm gonna pay for that. At West Alabama, anyone that receives a scholarship gets that in-state tuition rate, which makes us one of the most affordable universities in the Southeast. As I said, funding your education is paramount to you. And so it's super important to us as well. Our total cost for a year at that out-of-state rate is gonna be 2800 I mean, $28,000, that's gonna include room and board, meal plan, tuition and fees, but I know you, you're smart, you're gonna get a scholarship. So you're gonna be at that in-state tuition rate. So next kind of the follow-up is gonna be that application process. A couple things first, visit us online or interact with me right now. Visit us on campus. You can schedule a tour any day of the week, Monday through Friday. We also have a Saturday tour experience once a month. Next, apply for us. And if you would like to apply, just write down this code UWA free. Again, that's UWA free. You can use that application code and we completely waive that application fee for you. After you've been admitted, you can apply for scholarships and then apply for financial aid. So the ball's in your court, your future starts now. Take time and apply today. Awesome, thank you. Our next representative is from Andrew College. Hey everyone, how you doing? Let me share my screen. All righty. So Andrew College. So we are a, sorry, uh, primarily two-year school that's located in Cuthbert, Georgia. A uh, very rural area, very small school. We're about two and a half hours away from Atlanta, about 45 minutes away from Albany and Columbus to kind of give you an idea where they are. They're on the map here. Um, we are just a short drive to the gorgeous Gold Coast beaches. Um, some of our students like to take advantage of that on their spring break. We are a small school. Our average enrollment is about 300 students with our class sizes averaging about 14. Um, with the small classes means your professors get to know you on a very personal level than what you might receive at a larger institution. Uh, for an example, I'm an alum. I actually graduated from Andrew class of 2016 and transferred on to the University of Georgia to get my bachelor's. When I got my, um, was applying to get my master's degree, I actually had two of my professors from Andrew College write personalized letters of recommendation for me. Um, and that kind of ties in with the last bullet point on my screen, which is about 90% of our graduates do move directly into four-year institutions. So our admission requirements are, we're not on Common App or anything, but our application is on our website at andrewcollege.edu. We don't have an application fee. That's a permanent change that we made last year and we are sticking to that. Um, our minimum GPA requirement is a 2.0. And we are SAT, ACT optional for the fall of 2022. So if you have taken the test scores, we will take your test scores. But if you haven't, you don't have to worry about that with us. Uh, so I mentioned earlier that we are primarily two-year school. We say primarily because we do offer two bachelor degree programs. We have one in business and administration and a brand new program that was approved last year started this fall in elementary education. We also offer more than 20 associate degree programs, including the ones listed here with nursing, engineering, athletic training being among our most popular. We also offer certificates in cancer registry management. 
We have um, 10 varsity sports teams on campus. We are part of the NJCAA. Uh, cross country is one that we're adding for this coming fall. So if you're interested in cross country, um, let us know. If you are interested in any of these sports that we offer, you can go to this website that's down here at the bottom of your screen to fill out the questionnaire, get the coach's contact information. All right, so residents and student life. So we are mostly residential. We have about 80% of our students who live on campus. All of our dorms, we have three of them, one female, two male dorms, are suite style. So it's two people sharing a bathroom with two other people, unless you request a private room. Private rooms are available on a first come first serve basis and there is an upcharge per semester for a private room. We did just recently tear down an entire dorm and build four brand new cottages in its place. Those house about 32 students altogether. We have several um, different programs on campus, including our Andrew Serve Servant Leadership Program, which you can receive a scholarship for if you are a participant of. We also have Andrew College Ambassadors, Habitat for Humanity, and we also put on a variety of performing arts concerts and plays throughout the year. All right, so for financial aid, our tuition costs are gonna be up here in the corner. We total to about 29,000, but we do offer scholarship opportunities to kind of offset that cost a little bit. Um, out of state, in state, it's all gonna be the same. It's gonna stick around that 29,000 mark. Uh, we do have the federal Pell Grant for Bright Futures versus Florida residents that was valued at $3,320 per year. The main scholarship I wanna to touch on on this page is our Pitts Scholarship Competition. So that is an academic competition that we hold every year. There's two dates coming up in the spring where students will come to campus and um, basically compete with a bunch with against a bunch of other students for these for these scholarships. We offer two full ride and two full tuition. And if you want to know the dates for that, they're going to be on our website. And the only requirement to, to participate in that competition is to have above a 3.0 GPA. These are a couple of other scholarships and grants that we offer. This is all institutional aid. We can offer up to 8,500 for any of these primary scholarships and grants. So that includes academic, Andrew Serves, which is our servant leadership program I mentioned earlier, athletic, and then we also offer Tiger grants. These scholarships cannot be combined with each other, but they can be combined with these secondary scholarships down on the bottom. Uh, so we offer up to $1,500 for these secondary scholarships, which include our Andrew College Digital Network, Fine Arts, and if you are a child or grandchild of an Andrew College alum, you can have a legacy scholarship. So last but not least, uh, come and visit with us. We are allowing in-person visits this fall. You can register online on our website. The link is at the top of your screen. Um, the first in-person preview day we have coming up this year is on October 23rd. That is specifically for nursing and respiratory therapy students. And then we have one for pretty much everybody, which is three days before Thanksgiving, so you're on a break, um, on Monday, November 22nd. We also will schedule any virtual information sessions. All of that can be found on our website. If you wanna fill out one of our RQ cards, you can scan this QR code in your corner and my contact information is down on the bottom of your screen. Thank you guys so much and we hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Before we hear from our next two representatives, um, just another friendly reminder that if you have any questions at all, to feel free to submit those uh, using the Q&A button down at the bottom of your screen. Any questions at all about the college application process, or if you have a specific question for um, any of the schools here tonight, um, feel free to also submit your question there in the Q&A. Our next representative is from Pensacola State College. Hello, everybody. I'm going to share my screen and begin. Can everybody see? Okay. All right. Yes. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. It's our pleasure to have a conversation to you guys about all the things that Pensacola State College has to offer. My name is Scott Bemis, and I'm in the recruitment office. And again, it is my pleasure to share with you guys some very great facts about Pensacola State College. We're in the top 1% nationally for affordability, and that's because 95% of our students actually graduate debt-free. And they're able to do this because we're half the cost of other institutions. I'm gonna to touch on that a little bit later. Our class sizes are very 
comfortable, um, especially for somebody transitioning from high school to state college level. We have 24 students for every instructor, so it creates a great environment to have that conducive learning um, ability. Even if you're sitting in the back of the classroom, it, it's very comfortable and you're able to have that great learning environment. We have flexible schedules as well. So we have nights, weekends, we have uh, live online. So we really have a platform that's going to be conducive for whatever a, uh, a student is looking for. And that's by design in conjunction with the different locations that we have. We actually have six locations, but on here it's showing seven because we're actually starting a truck driver um, program coming up. So let's transition, what type of programs do we have? We have a wide variety of programs for whatever somebody's looking for. So whether they're looking to tool up and skill up for you know, one semester, we have programs, vocational certificates that are 12 credit hours, or maybe you're looking to get your baccalaureate. We have roughly 8% of our programs are a four year degree, but our really bread and butter, it's gonna be our Associate of Arts and our Associate of Science. So our Associate of Science, that's where a student can come to us for two years and learn valuable skills, tools to be able to go directly into the workforce. So you know many people in the community, maybe dental hygiene or nurses or um, the culinary management industry, we are able to provide those skills for students. We also provide our Associate of Arts degrees, which are actually, again, two-year degrees, but these are designed to be a stepping stone to transition to another institution. And so we have these articulation agreements with other institutions, and I'll, I'll touch on that in just a bit. But just to sum up, we really have something for everybody. So this is what I was talking about, the articulation agreements. So what is that? Well, the articulation agreements, they're agreements that enable students to attend Pensacola State College without doing, you know, we don't require the ACT or SAT so they can come to us, spend two years, their freshman or sophomore year, and then seamlessly transition into UWF or maybe South Alabama. We have other connections with, um, and, uh, with uh, FSU, but it's designed to help students transition affordably and also stress-free without having to have specific test scores or GPA because all that we require is a standard high school diploma. So that's fantastic. The enrollment process, it is very typical of, of any enrollment process as far as any institution. And I'll just skim over this because you guys have, uh, have heard this over and over, but obviously it's completing application online, which is super easy. You wanna fill out your FAFSA, your free application for federal student aid to figure out what type of funds are available. We have internal scholarships through the Pensacola State College Foundation and that's gonna enable you guys uh, to apply for scholarship for even more funds based on what your goals are and, and what type of career you wanna get into. Um, you know, we do require transcripts. I have on here that you can submit your ACT or um, SAT scores, but they are not required. That's only for individuals that are coming to us out of state, or maybe they haven't been in the Florida school system for four years. Um, we have an online orientation, meet with an advisor, able to talk about your class schedule, which is super easy. And, uh, and then we're able to look for um, books, supplies on campus, and then obviously get your ID. Available resources. This is very important because when, when any individual is looking for an institution that they're going to attend, they wanna know what type of support systems that they have there. And we have really everything to make sure that students are successful. successful. So we have virtual writing labs and math labs. We have these TRIO programs, which are government funded pro, um, programs, five different ones on our campus to support anybody from a veteran all the way to um, somebody that is eligible for um, student support services. We have a dental, hygienic, dental hygiene clinic, which services the community. Um, but, the, but the theme of this is that we have things support systems to make sure that students are successful. And now I'm gonna transition and double back to the affordability because I had mentioned before that we're half the cost of other institutions. And this is because our cost per credit hour is only $104.58. Comparable universities may be double that of $218. Um, and, and we pretty much have in place that you can get your baccalaureate degree for $10,000. So that's, that's pretty amazing 
when it comes to um, looking at the financials. And I touched on this before, you know, you want to look at flexibility when start times and things of that sort. We have what's called open enrollment. So this is, this is going to enable you to be able to attend, whether it's an A, B, or C, uh, or D session. So what does that mean? Well, we have traditional start times of August to December, say for fall, but maybe you had something that popped up, maybe your financial aid didn't process in time. We have other options to make sure that that does not stop you and we are going to propel you forward with your education. And again, wanna to touch on our different locations, but to wrap things up, Pensacola State College is a great choice because it's very easy to apply. To apply. We have over a hundred different programs. Um, you can graduate debt-free and we're gonna set yourself up for success but I greatly appreciate your time and we look forward to uh, assisting you with your educational goals. Great, thank you. Our last representative, but certainly not least, is from the University of West Florida. All right, thank you so much. All right, everyone, my name is Ethan Henley. I have the pleasure of representing the University of West Florida tonight. And for many of you, you're likely familiar with UWF as being in your backyard. But although we're close to home, we are certainly far from average uh, when it comes to getting your education. Tonight, we're going to quickly go over a little bit about UWF, look at the freshman class profile and how to apply to UWF as well as what scholarships are available. Um, for nearly 20 years, UWF has been recognized as the best Southeastern college uh, by the Princeton Review and really speaks to our quality of instruction and student life on campus. Notably, this year, UWF was ranked number one, the number one Florida public university in percentage of bachelor's graduates that are either employed or furthering their education a year after graduation. And that's really a testament to us preparing you for your next step um, after your college career. We're consistently noted as a diverse campus community and even have uh, support mechanisms and programs for students with autism. Our campus community boasts uh, 13,000 uh, plus students. Um, on sitting on our 1600 acre campus. And although our campus is large, our average class size is roughly 28 students. And if you get to upper division courses, that could be even smaller. We have over 70 different academic programs to choose from. You see the kind of our top 10 list of our freshmen that enrolled in 2021, just to get an idea of what they were majoring in. But again, we have over 70 programs to select from. Uh, we have on-campus housing for students, um, although not, re not required, we highly encourage first-year students to live on campus um, to get that, um, enrich yourself for that experience that first year and your steps away from class, from dining, everything that you need uh, is right there at your fingertips, including engagement opportunities. We have 150 student organizations on campus that are actively engaged, um, including 17 fraternity and sorority chapters, um, and even programs for Air Force and ROTC um, students that will produce commissioned officers for students that complete the program and graduate. Uh, we have uh, notable athletics and rising athletics. Uh, we are in the Gulf South Conference NCAA Division II um, is our classification. We have 15 athletic teams. We boast 105 conference championships, the most in the Gulf South Conference, 10 national championships, and most notably, we are still the reigning national champions in football in D2, and we're hoping to hold on to that title this year. Our cheerleading team also are national champions this year, competing in the college game day competition earlier this year. We also have um, an expanding Argo athletic band that is really enriching our um, athletic events um, and providing that, that support, so a lot of engagement opportunities. Now, in terms of academics, what really sets UWF apart is our high impact practices and experiential learning. And what that means is we are gonna give you real world experiences, hands-on experiences, in any program that you're, um, that you're going into that you can take with you after graduation into a career field through undergraduate research, service learning, like this group of nursing students in Guatemala, um, study abroad. This is our honor students in Peru a couple of years ago. Um, internships, they are um, so many options with internships in any different degree program. Um, I just worked with a student who did an internship with FedEx and then walked away with a job offer after graduation. Um, really incredible. And mentorship on campus, off campus, we will provide you those connections that will really set you apart when you enter the uh, graduate program or the job market. Field work as well, like our marine biology students here with a faculty member literally getting their hands dirty in what they're studying. So really incredible opportunities. Now, how do you become an Argo? You first start with the application. You see the, uh, the web link there to begin your application. 
This is a snapshot of what our freshman class in 2021 looked like. This is the middle 50 percent. Uh, so this gives you kind of an idea of where our freshman class uh, ranked in terms of academics. Now, if you don't see yourself in these ranges, that's okay. We do admit students even below some of these ranges. You just work with admission counselor to talk about your individual situation, and we can go from there. But just to be considered, you need to have at least a 2.5 weighted GPA or higher, as well as meeting state minimum requirements on the ACT or SAT for consideration. Again, concerns or questions with that, work with the admission counselor. That's why we're here. Um, for the application itself, uh, submit the application, your $30 application fee or fee waiver if you, um, you qualify. We accept uh, various uh, forms of fee waivers. Uh, your official ACT or SAT test scores, those are a state requirement. Um, and then submitting your student self-reported academic record, which is uh, submitting a form which is um, outlining your high school transcript information. Don't worry, we will send you communication of how to do that once you submit the initial application. For your test scores, we super score. That means we're taking your highest um, subscores and composites across all tests and test dates. It's to your benefit to send us all available scores because we will um, work them in your favor with super scoring. Now, December 1st, you need to know this date. Write it down now. Uh, this is our scholarship consideration priority deadline. Students need to have a complete application and be admitted to be automatically considered for merit-based scholarships. Yes, free money. Um, that you don't want to leave on the table. Packages can range between six and $20,000 total awards, but you definitely need to meet this deadline in order for us to make an automatic consideration for you. Outside of those, we have some select full ride scholarship opportunities. Yes, full ride. One is our PACE Presidential Scholarship. Uh, this is awarded through our uh, President Scholarship Competition um, for Florida resident high academic achieving students. Invitations will go out in December, but that is a full ride. Tuition, housing, meal plan, got it covered for you. Um, also, if you're a National Merit finalist, you automatically qualify for our full ride scholarship for National Merit students. If you are currently a semi-finalist, contact us. Let us know. Let's bring you on campus, connect you with faculty. We will show you how UWF can, uh, it will set, um, set you apart and prepare you for your uh, future ahead. We also have the Argo Spirit Scholarship. This is non-merit um, based. It is for students that are Pell eligible Florida residents. Um, who have shown overcome obstacles and demonstrated what we call Argo Spirit. A separate application is for this, and that will be provided in the spring. We also cover um, free tuition with our Argo 30 guarantee, but you need to submit the FAFSA. Um, visit campus if you have not. Visit us for our daily campus tour, an admissions event. All of this is on our website, or connect with us on Zimi to learn more what day the day-to-day -day campus life is like. All right, take out your phones well, in, our, in our last fleeting minutes here. Scan this QR code, join our mailing list so we can say, uh, be up to date with you, give you the information that you need, and we can follow up with you after tonight's event. So thank you so much and go Argos. Awesome, thank you so much. Again, all great information shared by all our representatives um, and about their respective institutions. So thank you. Um, at this point, we're going to move um, pivot now into our Q&A portion of this session. We do have some time left, and so I'm going to invite all our representatives at this time to go ahead and turn on their cameras to get ready to unmute, to unmute themselves um, to our, for our first question here, which is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? What advice would you give someone going through the caller search process? We'll go ahead and get started in the same order in which you all presented it. Well, my, again, my best advice would be to, to A, do your research um, on what's important to you and find a school that align with what's important to you while, while you're searching. Um, for me, I am going to say to, if you can get to a campus, um, especially, you know, now that we're getting toward pre-pandemic or post-pandemic, um, try to go see the campus, get a feel. Pictures look a little different, but you want to make sure it's the right feel and fit for you. Just to piggyback off that as well, visit campuses, make a list, make your wish list, but also make it realistic. Talk to current students there when you go visit um, and ask plenty and plenty of questions. Kind of reiterate what everyone else has said, um, kind of that same thing, visit campus. Um, the biggest thing is finding the best fit for you. We're not going to be upset if you apply for us and say you apply for Loyola or Pensacola and you say, oh, I don't want to go here, I want to go there. We're not going to be upset if you choose another school because 
ultimately you need to choose the best fit for you. So it's the same, do your research, visit the campus and find the school that's gonna fit you and what your plans are. Yep, and um, definitely piggyback off of do your research, but your research should consist of the cost, look at the programs that you're interested. You're gonna to wanna to look at the student support options that are there because when you transition to something new, you're gonna need um, those support options to help you to be successful. You're also gonna to wanna to look at what type of student activities you are um, available because you're gonna take the passions that you had before and you're gonna to wanna to relay those to the institution that you join. And obviously the last one is location because some people want to transition somewhere to a new environment and meet new people, but some people wanna stay local. And so take all of those things, write them down and, uh, and make your best choice for your, your future goals. Yeah, and my piece of advice is start the process early. Uh, many times you're not simply just submitting one application and you're done. You have to submit other documentation, your test scores, transcripts, um, essays, depending on where you've applied. So you've taken, a, you've taken a great step tonight of starting that process and exploring, but start those applications early. Make sure you're getting all the required documents so you can meet all of those deadlines. So much great advice. Thank you. We're going to try to squeeze in one more question here. Um, so our next question here is, what's one thing you want students to remember about your school? What's one thing you want students to remember about your school? So leave us on a high note. <laughs> um, I would want students to remember that um, we encourage you to own your excellence, um, but we also like to define that excellence and find and pursue the things that, that are best for you. Um, with us, oh, nope, sorry. Uh, with us, I'm going to say um, to we, what defines us and defines you is, is our city. New Orleans is an amazing city with a lot of amazing things. Um, and we want that to, to be a part of, you know, you and take it with you. So, so that's something to keep in mind. At the University of West Alabama, our goal is to foster your potential and develop you for a life of success. There is something truly about this place. We want you to come check it out and find your something at UWA. And for Andrew College, we are a small school, so we really like to hit on the fact that you walk in, you're not just a number walking into a classroom of 300. You are a name, you are a person. You build those connections with professors, which are super important when you move on after you graduate. Um, and go out into the workforce or even looking to go to graduate school. And the takeaway for Pensacola State College is that we're local. We're half the cost of other institutions. We have over a hundred different programs and our admissions process does not require the ACT or SAT. So we can be a springboard to your success. And for UWF, I've had students describe us as a hidden gem, and I think that truly that is very true. And I think we're trying to to further showcase UWF as that hidden gem. Uh, we have everything that you'll need to succeed. Faculty that are really going to engage with you in a small enough campus size that you will have opportunities for leadership, for engagement um, that can really grow your um, your college experience, and that will take you to where your where you want your future to be. Awesome. And that was rapid fire. So that was great. Thank you, everyone. Um, again, so much great advice, so much. Um, every school is unique and it's truly different. And so um, we appreciate uh, just sharing um, about your respective institution and what draws you there and what students love. And so um, this process um, is one that you just have to find the fit that works um, for you, um, but that you also have um, those in your corner. So um, these admission representatives are here. They're here to answer your questions. Um, so again, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing. Um, feel free to follow up as needed. Um, but again, we appreciate your time and thank you to each of you for joining us. Uh, we have reached the conclusion of the session and so we'll go ahead and um, conclude at this time. Um, as we close, there'll be a very quick five question survey that will appear on your browser. If you don't mind uh, taking a moment to fill that out for us, your feedback would be greatly appreciated. And lastly, this session is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com backslash Santa Rosa dash S Um, was there a question from one of the panelists? Um, 
Cara from Andrew College. No, sorry, that was an accident. No, I no worries. <laughs> no worries, no problem. Um, again, thank you all for being here and have a great night.